guys, happy six month anniversary. Um, well, not our six month anniversary, it's, it's our, our six, six month, month anniversary. anniversary. We have been married for six months today. Uh, not really an anniversary as Jen says. Do you know, it's not quite an anniversary, I would agree. But six months, been married. It might not seem a lot when I say we've been together over 11 years already. But it's just a nice achievement. Achievement is an achievement. Achievement is usually something that's difficult. I wouldn't really say it's difficult. It's a nice excuse to go out and have dinner. That's what it is. It's yeah, so we're out for dinner. Where are we going for dinner? Going to the Cowplow in Stoughton, which is a little village outside of Leicester. Um, it's supposed to be good. It's part of a, like a Midlands chain, I think. And the menu looks really good, so I can't wait to try it. So I've looked at the menu and it looks fantastic. Good selection of stuff it looks like I'll be able to eat because I can be very picky with my food. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. It's uh, how far away did you say? About half an hour. About half an hour drive. Strangely enough, I have to go exactly back where I've just come from from work. And it's we, we really should find somewhere to go, places to go that isn't back into Leicester. Because I spend all week there, I spend all weekend there. I never leave Leicester. Maybe try Northampton. Do you want to try Northampton? <laughs> okay, maybe not try Northampton. Somewhere else that's just as far away? Anyway, we're off out. We're going to celebrate our six month anniversary. Yay! Just like we celebrated pretty much every other month anniversary up until now. Told you, it's a good reason to go out and have dinner. Good reason to go out and have dinner. Are you guys going to come along? We made it here. Well, it is starting to rain. We only just made it here, by the way, because... Yeah, despite my terrible directions, we made it. Jen, Jen tried to give us some really strange directions that got us a little lost. And it turns out where I was going to go because I was following the sat-nav was the correct way in the first place. Perfect. What'd you say about that, Jen? Always follow the sat-nav. No, don't always follow the sat-nav. <laughs> Looks really nice, a bit strange though. I don't know what it's supposed to be here. No. The menu looks absolutely amazing. I think I'm going to go for crispy duck rolls to start and Asian spiced barbary duck for my main. What are you going to do, Jack? I think I'm going to have the um, bricks and crab fritters to start. I'm mm -hmm. pretty sure about that one. I think I'm going to have lemon pepper chicken for my main. I'm really torn because the fire today sounded amazing, but I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it just knows it sounded really good. So I need to ask again and find out what that was. And then I might go for it. These are my crab fritters. But it's not fair because Chris's duck rolls are considerably bigger than mine. Well, I need to make them. I've got to make my dinner. Yeah, but you've got six rolls. You can't count. It's only five. Really? One, two, oh, three, yeah. four, five. Okay, fine, five. I've just had our dinner arrive and mine looks amazing. I have lemon pepper chicken, which it just looks really good. It's just chicken and vegetables. It looks healthy and tasty and yummy. And Chris's, hi. It smells so good. Chris's looks good, but it looks a lot less healthy than mine. It's a bit more brown. It's a bit more, yes. It's a bit more brown. A little bit American. Oh, I'm full. I can barely walk. You know when you eat so much food that your belly is so bloated that you kind of got to keel over and walk, walk doubled over a bit like this. That's what I'm like at the moment. My food was amazing, amazing. Um, we didn't show you our desserts. Desserts, I had a, a crumble. It was like a, an apple, a rhubarb and berry crumble, which tasted amazing. They, it was like a fruit compote I guess with um, really crunchy the crumbliest crunchiest crumble I've ever had so sort of sprinkled on the top it was it was delish Jen that's what you had I had a chocolate pot which was kind of like a really stiff mousse that was really good it was quite creamy and really thick on the top and kind of gooey on on the underneath it was really good but now we are off home it is 10 to about 10. Two degrees. We've been here about two hours and Jen says it's two degrees. It is cold. Um, we're off home. I might need to undo a bit of my belt in the car, put it down a notch, otherwise I don't think I'll be able to get back out. We made it back, but despite how full I was, I still managed to go via 
The Tesco garage. Uh oh. Uh oh, indeed. It wasn't too bad. I just got some Maltesers. Where's the Maltesers? Oh, I'm a little yellow today. Maltesers. More to share. Nope, more for Chris. If Jen's nice, if she if she gives me a kiss, I might let her have a couple of Maltesers. Okay, she can have two. Thank you. Thumbs up if I should give her some more. But here is... Sheppy. No, not Sheppy yet. There is Sheppy. Hey, Sheppy. Um, here is my new microphone for the DSLR. But I'm gonna have a night off tonight. I am not gonna edit any videos, which is a bit lazy of me, considering I'm now an extra day behind. I will have to make up for it tomorrow when Jen, are you taking the dog to his class tomorrow? Yeah, obedience tomorrow. Okay, so I'll try and make up for it somewhat tomorrow. Um, but I get to have an early night. Shep was one sniffing around wondering what's going on. I get to have an early night, maybe watch a bit of TV, chill with my wife for our six month anniversary. Aww. And then go to bed. Sounds good to me. Good night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.